Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be carrying on with Spiritfarer. Load up our save. Uh, it's been a few days since I played, honestly, so I can't quite remember where we got up to. Um, let's see. Well, let me check out our map. I don't know if we've got objectives as such. But let's see, where are we? We're in Hummingburg. Do we have somewhere else we needed to be? Which was great. Oh, what's this thing? Quartz Dragon? Ah, requests. <clears throat> Talk to Gwen. Visit the spot Summer has marked on the map. That... That's the quartz dragon, isn't it? Okay, well, let's talk to Gwen first. Uh, maybe we'll water plants as well. Where is everyone? Have we rung the bell yet? Are they all still asleep? They might be. Okay, there we go. We're going to Gwen's house. <laughs> She's got a face mask and the little cucumbers on the eyes thing there. Okay, let's ring the bell. Yeah. We get some food going perhaps. We've been getting quite a lot of stuff. Uh, we haven't done in turnips yet, have we? Why don't we do a bunch of those? That's going to take a little while. Now, say, oh, he's hungry. Uh, what do we think he might like? Have we tried him with the grilled fish? Oh, delicious! I had a hankering for this. I'll say up front, I've forgotten the voice I did for him. So, if if it's wrong, that's why. <laughs> Um, give him a little hug. Hello, Uncle. Wasn't that great favourite niece of mine? I love it. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverley? Probably is the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. Talk to the snack. Which is a little bit hungry. We could go for them, maybe they could try it. We've got loads of this stuff, so we'll try that. Oh no, 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 no. Stella, don't you remember? I don't eat any animal product. No breast milk, nor ova. Certainly they were not meant for our consumption. And the meat, no, no, no. I'm sorry, I won't impose my choices on others, but I cannot eat that. Okay, we'll try something else. No meat. But we have grilled veggies, so you can see that. Oh, thank you, I was quite hungry. Yeah, we'll give a little hug. Let your food go down. Ah, oh, you're sweet. Uh, Sprout! Took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose. But you know what would make it even greater? More plans, bigger buildings, better pencils. I'm just saying. Sure, Albert at Albert Shipyard could help you out. Yeah, I was intending to go back to him actually now that we've got a bit of a bit of walking around money. I wonder if it might help to do another nightmare jellyfish uh, site as well, possibly. Alright, well we've got a couple of places to go, so let's let's start heading off. So we're gonna head towards the quartz drag, which is down here. So maybe we'll stop off. Or we can go by go by this first, and then we'll go by the nightmare jellies on the way, and then we'll end up in the quartz dragon. St uh, Stella, uh, Gwen, I keep calling her Stella. We're Stella. Gwen, hungry? Do you want some oh. coffee? Please, I can't eat the same thing twice. I don't hate myself that much. Right, what about a shrimp cocktail? Ha! Oh, this is absolutely exquisite. Worthy of the best fine dining restaurants I've been to, and I've been in those a lot. Thanks a lot. Huggy, huggy. Aww. 
Thank you. There's a lot of food coming on. There's still got a bit of ways to go. My time to one fish. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Fighting at this one. Ah, we lost it. I thought I did think I was maybe pushing that a bit hard. That one, all our food's ready as well. All right, let's get the food. I don't want it to burn. I don't even know if it can burn, but you know, maybe it can. Cook some more stuff. What do we got? We could do uh, a couple of herring, maybe. I don't have other ingredients to it yet. I wonder if we can unlock more complicated recipes at some point. Perfect sea trash. Oh. Quick, jump in the water. There's wreckage. I'm sure, you'll find helpful materials in there. Yeah, I believe. Believe me, Uncle. I'm an old hand at this. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. Dive. We have some copper ore or something like that. Yeah, that's cool. I've played enough crafting games to know what copper ore looks like. <laughs> Loads of seeds. Something else. Copper ore. I saw some more shells over here. <laughs> Okay, let's do the nightmare jellies. Oh, what's this? Green Halton Bay. Well, we'll check out that place too. Um, can I do that correctly? I, th I think so. Right. <clears throat> we'll try another fish. Try and be a bit less impatient this time. This feels like an old shoe moment. What was that? Fan a fancy vase? Okay. Might be something I can sell. skirting the edge of that big storm. Who's ready? What do we get? Bay shrimp. Okay. Let's get our food out. What's he doing? Oh, he's is he fixing, fixing a house. He's handy. Uh, I mean, we've got loads of corn. Maybe we should do some corn. So they're pretty quick though, we could probably just sit here and get that done. I love the animations on the cat, it's so cute. <laughs> so, the decorn. Oh, let's get something a bit more long term going. Uh, I'll do this. Weird. It's going to take a while. I think we're coming up to the point where we're going to be running around trying to do nightmare jellies. <clears throat> what she got to say? Jellyfish! Here they come again! Oh, they feel great! Go, I still have faith in you. I'll watch from inside. Mm. Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. I'm not scared. Give me the money. Oh no, they're coming in high.
this one. Like it was it. Let's go and see the quartz dragon. We have found some quartz, I think. Is our food ready? Oh, it is. We have squid skewer. Okay. Uh, I've got some coffee on, maybe. That's quite quick. We'll do some more popped corn as well. We can just about get there by night time. Okay, is that we're here? Oh, I can't go. Let's go and talk to Snake Lady, whose name I forgot. Following me always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Okay. 
Now we do. Relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we are able to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Oh, she's happy. What's that mood like? Let's witness the dragon from her past. Okay, she didn't like that. Uh, might have a bit of uh, harvesting to do here. Some corn. What are the corn? Do some coffee. More coffee. Might be ready to pick. There we go. Thought I had to press rapidly, but it was just hold down. Alright, we plant some more carrots. How much the carrots? Turnips. Water. Do the last turnip seed. Why not? Well, it's actually bedtime now, so maybe we should go and uh, wait till morning. There's a couple of places I'd like to visit tomorrow. First thing I'd like to do is visit that sort of newish island we've just spotted. Uh, was it this one? Green Halton Bay. Let's go there. Quite sure what we'll find. We get some more food going, maybe some veggies or something. Uh, yeah, we have to more, to more turnips. Now we've got to wake people up. And then we'll visit the uh, ship's right, whatever his name is, the one who will sell it, who will upgrade our blueprints and stuff. Albert, something or other. Rung the bell. Are they just hanging out inside because it's raining? Possibly. Oh, we've got Green Halton Bay there, looks like. So I'll have some trees to cut down. I think the veggies are going to take a little while, so they'll be okay. to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. 
It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good. But I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Wow, berries! These look incredible. I was just dreaming about these. Like some food. Let me have some poppet corn. The service on this ship is incredible. Right. Uh, can we do anything with the berries? Oh yeah, we can pick them. That's it for the honest. Actually, there wasn't anything to cut down unless I've missed it. Ah, this one. Come on, kitty. I need your expert soaring ability. Oh no, what happened to the cat? <laughs> Why did it look like that? Oh no. Okay, let's do a bit more. Why is he still yelling? Has he got something else to say? Is he still talking about the berries? Is this another one? I don't know how I walk past those without seeing. Right, this will head back. Wasn't an awful lot to do here, but it's alright. Got some resources and that's good. I'm sure you remember my old sewing machine. It was a diva with gold lettering and a manual wheel. You know, I've always been into textiles. Mm. But a few years ago, I went to a museum which had tons of different sorts of fabric crafting machines. And I couldn't help but notice that you could build a loom on this ship. This could be a great opportunity for me to teach you a few tricks. Mm. And I'm quite sure you'll need thread and fabric soon. So you should definitely add a loom to this boat. The resources for it should be simple to find. Mm. Just check in your blueprint table. Okay, cool. That would be good. Uh, she's full. She doesn't need feeding. You can see how Snake Lady, whose name I've completely forgotten, is doing. Oh, I don't want to sit down. I want to, I want to talk to her. Is she a bit sad? Oh, this rain. Will it ever stop? She doesn't like the rain. Okay, well, we should probably set sail for the shipyard, wherever that is. This isn't it. Let's go out of the shipyard. Have a look at the blueprints that I can build at the moment. Hmm. I can't build a loom unless I can. Right, edit to my guest house. Well, that's not what I want to do. Improve. Uh, okay, small decorations. I've done that. Oh, our food's burning. Maybe we'll have to buy it. From Albie. I think we're doing quite well. I mean, we spend a lot of time gathering resources and stuff and making sure that we've got things that we need. <coughs> I don't think it's a frenetic game. I think it's more of a cosy. It's not. It's not a visual novel, but you know, of, of that ilk. What's her mood? She's very low. Oh, maybe she'd like a hug. 
Oh, that was sweet. There we go. That mood's a bit better now. She's not hungry, though. Uh, we're almost at the shipyard. Maybe we've got time to catch a fish. I was going to say that for you. Oh, a message in a bottle. Can we read that? Have I got... Do I have an inventory? Gather the resources, then return to Albert Shipyard and add the wonderful mailbox to our boats. We've got enough glims. Don't have maple planks or linen thread, though. The intrepid otter. Get a bigger boat. Could be good. Hobbyist. Whatever that is, we can do it. More shenanigans. Maybe just little side things, but I haven't got anything like that at the moment. Oh, hello. Who are you? Highlights. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Very fussy. Hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the new spirit fairer. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. You could say I'm a sort of wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things. Objects, curios, tchotchkes. I just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. We have, actually. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? Oh, we can sell all our junk. All of that. A thousand glims for this old carpet. Should be sold. Yeah. 480 for a valuable ring. Yeah. Four oh, those bloody. Oh, oh my god. There's so many. Um, and these are our... No, this is stuff we want to keep, isn't it? Thank you. That was good. What have you got to buy? Uh, odd seed. Uh, I'll buy one of those, maybe. It might be good. Um, buy a few of those, perhaps. Oh, the errands? Nope. Yeah. Thank you very much. Alright, let's go see Albert. Get to Albert's dock. <laughs> Stella! Oh, I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I'm not a post office. You need to add a mailbox to your boat. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you. You might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at you. Get it done. Upgrade! Hobbyist. We can then do a sawmill loom and foundry. Well, that sounds pretty important. Uh, before I commit, let's we'll just see what else we could do. For the flat cost of 1200 we can get a bigger boat, which sounds pretty good. And a mailbox will need planks and linen, but we can um, do that. Let's do this. Can't get a craftsman yet because oak planks. I haven't seen any oak trees yet. I don't know. Get a bigger boat. We're going to need a bigger boat. Can't quite do the adventurer's manatee yet. Alright. Thank you very much. Let's go and see, what, see our bigger boat. I'm going bananas on this ship. I don't have anything to do. I've got this surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favourite niece, you know that. I think I need a place to focus that energy in a sawmill. Yeah, we're just missing some of the key components. Materials, which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. 
I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck, right? Yeah, I'm sure we can manage that. Yeah, so we've got a bit more, a bit more running around space now. Well, let's have a look at the uh, blueprint. So, field got, garden got, kitchen got, loom. We have the ingredients for that. Uh, we don't have a sawmill because we need the linen thread, which we'll get from the loom. Uh, and then a foundry will need... Yeah, we're a bit away from a foundry. What else can we do? Nothing else yet. So let's concentrate on the loom. I think I might put that under... Hang on. Let's edit our house. How high can we stick that? You go there, and we'll stick a little lodge underneath you. A <laughs> uh, loom underneath you. Upgraded your boat. Hmm, that's weird. Don't tell Albert, but he left some bolts loose. He was probably just in a hurry. Give me a second. Here we go. Now, oh, armor. Made it more than I thought. Let's see here. Wow, this boat's got some advanced options now. First up, you can safely travel and not go through all the dangers the sea has to offer. You're using your map. You just need to toggle safe travel mode. It's that simple. Don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select a destination, it won't be on. I hope that helps. Ooh, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, the engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination points. That's pretty handy. You can set your course and let the wind do its job. Besides that, it's just a bigger boat with more room. Well, have fun. Oh, something, she's up in the loom. All right. This loom looks fantastic. Don't be scared. It's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. You put fibre inside and then you spin. You just have to make sure you hit the target. Okay, let's have a bit of a mini game. And you get a little extra if you hit the marker needle. See? Pretty easy, right? Now, you try it. Try it with this fibre. Uh, let's put them all in, I suppose. Boom. job. I thought we were doing pretty well. Oh, no, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm out of here. See, it's not that hard. The machine does all the work. You just have to flow with it. And that's what makes this so soothing. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. I'll probably give it a go myself when you don't need it. But don't worry about the materials. I'll manage. Cool. Uh, let's do a little round of watering our staff. But I feel like we've got quite a lot of linen thread. Now. This is quite ready to harvest. Let's get some more food going. Probably got quite a few. Just got loads of corn. Let's get the carrots going. So we might be able to build a sawmill now. Here we go. That'll do. How 
fix that. It looks quite chunky, isn't it? Quite chunky. Have to move some stuff around, aren't we? See if we can get the sawmill in now. We put it there so they can kind of go straight in there in the morning. It's a bit weird though. That double ladder thing going on. Oh, we could put the sawmill there maybe and then. Alright. Let's move the guest house. Right with a sawmill next door, won't she? Yeah, it's not the tidiest looking thing. Let's try getting it a bit more ergonomic at some point. Oh well, let's go to bed for now. Look at this. Oh, that's the wandering match. That's okay. Next time we get it, feel like we've got a lot of valuables stored up, we might go there. Alt Harbour. Have I been there? I've been to, no, Hummingbirds where I've been. What's this one? Mustine Cove, been there. So let's go to this Alt Harbour thing then and see what's there. So safe travel mode, I don't I don't know if that's particularly necessary really. I don't feel like we've been under threat much. Oh this is ready. I thought I had that cooking. Let's maybe get some more stuff cooking. Let's go and see what the snake lady wants. A word, please, Stella. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been very tired recently. And I'm afraid to say that it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to stand ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tremendously. Then we could continue our lessons. But nothing too fancy, just a place to sleep and meditate. With lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'll be delighted if it had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella, deeply. Okay. Uh, right, first things first. Go off popcorn out the oven. Next thing's next. A bit of harvesting, a bit of watering. Actually, 
because uh, I feel like we're going to need a lot of thread. Everyone wants to talk to me. see what oh we'll plant the odd seed yeah we paid 500 lum lumens or whatever it's called for that I'm going to water it as well the frog's probably going to want a place to be as well mm -hmm. Stella, I've got to tell you, there is something I'd stumbled upon some time ago, and up till now it didn't seem that important. Brace mm -hmm. yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as this sounds, it's not too far from here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit I've been actively trying to avoid it. Mm -hmm. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. As I've spent so much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this mm -hmm. challenge. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. Okay. Wow, this looks amazing. Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big. What a beauty. It's just one problem. Now, don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's what they call it, a favour. You see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. Alright, so let's see what we do. Let's see the top one's going through. You're doing it all wrong. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice and cut. You just need to keep your saw blade steady and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky or an arm. Or something worse. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. You little rascal. Alright, let's try this again. I think it's giving us some more logs as well. Uh. Oh, okay. Did that badly. I prefer the um, Loom mini game, that's a bit easier, a bit quicker as well. Perfect, but I did alright. You did great. You ready to start cutting wood like a champ? Just remember to be careful with this sawmill. Don't go and mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. Alright. What's he want to talk about now? Sprout! You've been chopping it up in the sawmill? Oh, I like it. Getting the work done. Learning a new skill. Now you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house. Let me sketch something real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic. Just a few hinges here, a few nails in there. Now, you've already got some materials to build me something nice. I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently I snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. Alright, let's see what these two need. So for Gwen... Oh, we've got Gwen's Lodge. Um, Summer Sanctuary, we need oak planks and limestone. We need a bit more maple plank for Atoll's workshop as well. Okay. Oh yeah, we're in this new place, aren't we? Let's go and uh, let's go check it out.
Hello. Oh. Welcome. Welcome. We're the Hummingbird Preservation Society, which was established by, well, me. Oh. I was tired of sitting around and not doing anything. My name is Jabari Simmons. Good old Welsh name. And I believe in cleanliness. I believe in a clean hummingbird. Oh. That's why I and the other volunteers are here. We want to restore this harbour. It's badly in need of a paint oh. job. Bring back that sparkle. There used to be an old boat dock there. We could have the materials to rebuild these homes. Oh. It's getting a bit scarce now. Someone has apparently stolen it. People do silly things sometimes. If you'd like to give us a hand, we're always looking for volunteers. Oh. Right now, I think we just want to get those crates out the water. Up for it? Of course you are. You're a go-getter. I was so busy focused on my accent, I actually didn't hear what they asked us to do. Uh, are the floating crates here? I'm happy to do it. Who's this one? I just... Oh, I just believe in the Hummingbird Preservation Site. He's missing so much. Was this the other one? Mm. I hate cleaning. Oh, someone up there. Alright, we'll do this. Think they're full of stuff. There he is. Got smoke logs. Very nice. Smoke log. Do we think that's it? Yeah, it does appear to be. Actually, it's quicker just to double jump over the water. And that's all your stuff done. Good job! Mm -hmm. That was great. We'll keep painting and cleaning those stains. Probably get rid of that dumpster. Mm. I heard what I think was a possum in there. Sometimes that's the way it goes. That's what happens day in, day out over here. Mm -hmm. Repair, restore, repeat. That's our motto. The three R's of the Hummingbird Preservation Society. Oh. Hopefully no one's already using that motto. Well, back to business. Here's a small but crucial shopping list. If we get rid of all that, we'll be able to give this butte the shine oh. she deserves. Thanks again for your precious help. Be seeing you. Okay. Oak planks, household glue and silk thread. So that's going to be a little way off because I don't have been found any of those yet. Apart from the, the oak planks I think we can make now. Um, Alright. That's kind of it for here. God, he's having another go. Hey Stella! As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Your Aunt Viv would call it laser-focused tummy. Don't get me wrong. I'll still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I'd just like for you to put some effort into this one. I'll give you a shout when I get a craving. Hopefully I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. Oh, I was going to feed you then. What did you do? Come back here. Come back, Frog. He's a little bit hungry. Uh, have some popped corn? Oh, our service on this ship's incredible. How about a little hug? How's his mood? He's happy. Um, how's Gwen? She need feeding? I've been thinking about father recently. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow, no hate, no relief. Nothing. It didn't really matter to me, but it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. I bought you three sisters and gave you that damned oversized sweater I'd knitted a mm -hmm. month prior. My mum was appalled, but you felt better. I long wondered why you were so sad. The best I could come up with was that you were sad in my stead, feeling things I couldn't feel myself. I'm a little bit hungry. We'll wait till she's hungry, perhaps. She's a fussy bugger. Uh, we could do some watering in here. to receive. Oh, I think we've got some linen to harvest. <laughs> got rice seed now, interesting. And tea seed. Ah. Oh, I'll put some rice down.
Ooh. What's she doing? How are you doing? Oh, Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? Uh, have some raspberries. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Have a hug. Sprout. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. How's her mood? It's better now. Now so she's forgotten about the horrible dragon she doesn't like. It's told me to go to and help. For some reason. Right, let's get something on cooking, shall Oh! <laughs> Gone to desktop for some reason. Yeah, let's do some. We need some roast veggies again. Let's get rid of these carrots. Yeah, there's the summer house she wants us to go to. And we probably will. I just want to know if there's a little island on the way that we can... Um, uh, sort of harvest some material from. Maybe... Maybe Barkensheim Creek might be a good one. But maybe we'll also go via some of these crates. I need to sit with this mystery seat. I might play it some music. How do I do that? Is it R? Yes, it is. Song, isn't it? Come on, Mystery Seed, you will be mine. Lettuce, eh? Oh, I've got some of that down. I guess uh, we have stuff cooking. Good it. They're still going. All right, let's do a fish. We're we'll waiting for that to finish off. Oh. 
tag or something valuable. I'm gonna sell those for more lumens or whatever it's called. Ceramic bowl. Okay. Getting any fish at the moment. Another message in a bottle. I don't know if we can use that in some way. Ooh. What do we get? A squid. Okay. Oh, yeah, our food's ready. I think I quite like there's no real time pressure in this game, or at least not that I've seen, so I don't feel the need just to run around like a mad thing. I'm trying to do everything I can in the in the time, like you know, like a stardew sort of thing. It's just, you know. It's obviously a day and night cycle, but it doesn't seem to be any penalty just for taking your time over stuff. Um That said I might go to bed now. You just fished out a bottle from the sea. That's not trash. It could be anything in there. A tiny ship, old wine, a baby crab. Yes, yes, it could even be trash. Go ahead and crack it open. Okay, so how do I do that? Uh, I don't know. How do I... For it, I should open it, but how? How? Oh, food's ready anyway. I'd love to open the message in the bottles I've got, but I don't know how to do it. I assume I've got an inventory or something. I've got, you know, I press I, it's not there. I pressed other buttons. Tab brings this menu up, but that's not anything. I think that maple log would be enough for us to build Uncle's house. Oh. Oh, constantly water these plants. Quick! Okay, we can talk to her. She's got something urgent. Oh, it's mystery. It's mystery seed. Ready? It was! Empty shells, bottle, old carpet, which is worth a thousand, don't forget. And what's this one? Leaks. Oh, that's leaks. We've sprung a leak. <laughs> right, well, it's better like watering these plants than. This looks ready to go. Coffee, linen. Let's put some tea down this time. Do you have anything particular to say? Oh, she's hungry. Um, what about a poached... I've got a squid skewer. Who said you could open an upscale restaurant? Fine dining at its best. Oh, a little hug. Feeling much better. Okay, well, let's go and source some log. Actually, no, let's set our course in first. Course laid in, sir. And then we'll... buy these crates. I'm not going to stop off the nightmare jellies. I, I think we've got enough of the bitter jelly or whatever it is that they give out. And um, 
I don't give enough money, really, to make it worth it when I'm making a thousand parole carpet I yank out the sea. Uh, let's saw some... Oh, what's he want now? Hey, Stella. You know me. I could always go for a little snack. Something salty. Something buttery. Something with flavour. Oh, jeez. You know what would be just perfect? A big old bag of popcorn all to myself. Just go ahead and heat up some corn. Come back, you... Tratted frog. Oh, I gave him the wrong thing. Mmm, that really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. I used to make bags of popcorn and movie night for them. Even with the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. Crunching so now. It's the only way to calm down those little monsters. Watching these terrible kids' movies. I wish I was still there. Ah, oh, why does it keep going to my desktop? I see them laughing. For them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine. Nothing special. Reminds me of my first kitchen. In my terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing in there. I'm so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Anyway, here's a little something to brighten this mess up. Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll need to actually work for it, but it will be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. Actually, that would be good, Uncle. Go and see what's required right now, in fact, because I was already hoping that I could upgrade the kitchen. Uh, linen fabric. What, how do we make linen fabric? I've improved this in some way. Hmm. Can't do that right here. Oh, she's. I know you don't like the jellies. It's fine. The jellyfish is doing all the lights, so it's still not for me, I'll never get used to it. Blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I, even though I didn't set course for this, obviously we're just like we're going to have to do it anyway. Well, I guess I'll try and catch the Woo -hoo. Catch the bitter jellies as they come past. Limbs. I keep calling them lumens. Oh, oh, oh,
So, uh, Uncle Uncle's house. There we go. Oh my god, you don't ask for much, do you? How big is him? Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna have to move some stuff around, aren't we? Good stuff sort of Right, now let's see if we can get his silly old house in here. I can live above the sawmill. like the farm things next to each other. Move stuff around again. Put that there. there. Let's move the kitchen out. this stuff. The sawmill's not there. The kitchen could maybe get under the sawmill. Oh, that just tucks in there. That could be good. That's good Tetris. Get the loom down. Leave that there for now. 
Alright, I think that's probably as good as I can make use of the space. Alright. Let's go and pick up some stuff out of the sea. Valuables. There we go. Oh, it's in the wrong spot. That looks like quartz. Okay, let's do some watering. Relearn my layout now. Let's go to the kitchen. What should we get going? Uh, yeah, some of these turnips. Really. Some watering. I can't remember what he, uh, what we said we needed for the advanced kitchen. I might go and have a look. I don't know how we get linen cloth. I'm guessing it's a loom upgrade, but I don't know how it happens. Uh. What is an upgrade to her house? Reading corner, bookcase, wall decoration. Oh, a linen fabric. That's that's why we were trying to make the linen fabric, isn't it? Hmm. You know, I go to bed. <clears throat> and then I might leave it there. I think I think we're on for over an hour now on this episode. I think we've achieved quite a lot. So yeah, I think we'll lay in a new course. We'll get to the, we'll get to the villa. And then I will... Oh, that, I think. What's he got in his house? Oh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's got little... He's got a little water room that he's floating in. Oh my god, that's so adorable. So happy. Um, let's get our food out. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for now. Thanks very much for watching this episode of Spiritfarer. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do hit the thumbs up button on the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the game in this playthrough. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. That would be absolutely amazing. And in the meantime, I hope to see you again next time for more. Bye for now. <laughs>